Hello, dear student. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Today in unit three, unit lesson five, we have a subject which is cause and effect. So let's start. For cause and effect, or we can say to express cause and effect in English, we have or we use certain words or phrases. We classified or we divided these words into two groups. The first one, I mean group one, this group followed by cause, and it can be a sentence or a phrase. This is the structure or the form of these uh, words. At the beginning, look, we have effect sentence, and then we have this expression, or we can say these words that we use them for uh, showing cause and effect. Uh, we have because, and then we have since, uh, and because of. After uh, them, we have cause sentence. We have cause here. Look at this example. I am not going shopping. This is the effect. And then we have because, or we can say because, I am tired. I am tired. This is the cause of uh, why you are not going shopping. The second example. The ball rolled. This is the effect. And then... Uh, we have since. After since, we have the cause. A boy kicked the ball. Or we can say, the ball rolled since a boy kicked the ball. This is the cause of why the ball rolled. He failed the, the test. Why he failed the test? Because of his bad study. Or we can say, his bad study is the cause why... Uh, he failed the test. And also we can change the position of these words or this expression. We can put them at the beginning because or since or because of. And then we have a uh, cause, as we said. Or we can change uh, the position of the effect sentence. We can put at the end of the, or we can say put it uh, in the second part of the uh, sentence after the cause sentence uh, but be careful uh, we have comma after the uh, first sentence which is cause and then we have effect look at this example because I am tired I'm tired is the cause and uh, comma after that we have this sentence which is the effect I am not going shopping because I'm tired I'm not going shopping. I'm not going shopping is the effect. Since a boy kicked the ball, the ball rolled. A boy kicked the ball is the cause and the ball rolled is the effect. And the last one, because of his bad study, he failed the test. He failed the test. We have a note here. Because of should followed by a noun or phrase. Look at this form or this structure. Because of uh, should followed by a noun or phrase. Look at this example. Because of the bad weather. The bad weather is not the uh, full sentence. This is the uh, phrase, the bad weather. Uh, and also we can say this is the cause also. We have an effect here, I'm not going shopping. Because of the bad weather, you are not going shopping. Another example, as we said, uh, this expression can be uh, came at the beginning or in the middle of the sentence. In the second one, uh, we have the effect at the beginning. I am not going shopping because of the bad weather. The bad weather is the phrase and also it's the cause. The second group, or we can say group two, this group followed by effect, and it can be a sentence or phrase. Look, here we have this uh, phrase, or we can say we have this expression, or this word is for uh, showing curse and effect, and they came after the cause, and they followed by an effect. Uh, therefore, as a result, so and so, uh, and so. Look at this example. It is hot. This is the cause. So, I'm staying at home. I'm staying at home is the effect. It is called. Also, this sentence is the cause. 
therefore therefore followed by uh, an effect I'm staying at home it is hard this the cause as a result comma and then we have the effect I'm staying at home the summary what we talked about about today we said to express cause and effect in English we use certain words and phrases for example, the first group is uh, that, or we can say this is the structure of first group. We have effect at the beginning, and then we have because, since, because of, and then we have cause. Uh, I mean, after this expression, because, since, because of, followed by uh, a cause, or we can say cause sentence. Uh, and then we can, uh, as we said, we can change the position of, of this uh, Word. We, we can uh, use this expression because since and because of and put them at the beginning uh, and uh, we move the effect sentence to the end of the sentence and also we have the second group uh, which is therefore as a result so and so uh, with this expression followed by the effect uh, and then we have a, a cause at the beginning look at this example I'm not going shopping because I'm tired this an effect and I'm um, tired is the cause and we can change the position as uh, I said the position the position of the uh, because of this expression we can put it at the beginning I am because I'm tired I'm not going shopping an example uh, for the second group it is called therefore I'm staying at home this is the effect and we have the cause uh, before this expression which is therefore and that's all. Thanks for your watching and listening.